And now to someone who is drumming up a great deal of interest in the music world, quite literally, in fact. Caleb Bediaco is a pupil at St. Albans College in Pretoria, but he's also won big at the 2022 World Championships of Performing Arts held recently in Los Angeles. It's an international performance showcase of some of the very best musical talent in the world. His drumming and skill on a number of musical instruments set him apart. Let's take a quick listen. My joy is on the floor. <laughs> Caleb Bediaco joins us now. Caleb, that was incredible. Not only are you a phenomenally talented drummer, but you also like play with your sticks in the middle of it all. Talk to me about your awards because I'm going to read them out. You are the Senior Instrumental Grand Champion of the World and, that's not all, overall Senior Grand Champion of the World. Talk to me about this competition um, and the awards that you won. Well, the competition was really, it was really a special one to me. Um, so uh, what happened was we went through a process of first rounds as well as the semifinals, and then obviously a finals, which is like a showcase basically. So after the first rounds, I was called back to do uh, the semifinals, and then from then I made it to the finals, which was great. And then on that day, we all. 40 acts or so about there of like several different countries. Um, we all competed in this in the showcase. And then um, at the end, they had a little bit of an award ceremony and I was called to win the overall grand champion for instruments. And then even later, I was called to win the overall um, performer, basically in the senior category, which was really nice. Congratulations, it's amazing. I I've heard this competition described as the Olympics of music, just how prestigious is it in the world of music? I think, honestly speaking, I think it's the greatest music competition that I've ever done, and I'd really recommend it to any other musician that is really trying to compete, because I think it's a very good way to grow as a musician. Basically, there are about 72 countries that have taken it, and from then it just keeps going on, and yeah, South Africa happened to do really well in this competition, which is something amazing, so yeah. Well, you're amazing, uh, and we're all completely uh, struck by your talent. Where did your love of drumming yeah. and music begin? Well, I started actually drumming when I was about three or four years old. And um, because I had older siblings, I'm the last born in my family. So I had an older sister that I was doing drums, and my older brother and my older sister was also doing drums. And I used to watch them play, and I... I think I got inspired by them to some extent, and then I picked it up, and then I think, yeah, I just continued with it. How much do you practice every day? How many hours? What, man? How many hours do you practice every day? Every day? Well, I try to practice about every day, and I don't really tire myself, but I, I normally see myself practicing around two, two hours or so. But um, obviously, I am also in school, so sometimes it does get a bit much to do. Practicing as well, but um, I can't tell you that I practice every day. I'm not, I'm not a perfect musician, but I'm working to it. But in a week, I'd say I practice about five to eight hours. 
you sound pretty perfect to me. Uh, you're at St Albans in Pretoria, right? Yes, um, uh, what grade are you in? How old are you now? I'm in matric, ma'am. So I'm in grade 12. And I'm 18 years old. So you're in matric where they pile on the pressure for every single student and you still managed yes, to win this phenomenal award. Uh, what are your friends at school, what are your teachers, what have they said to you? Well, a few of them have called me like Mr. Grand Champion, stuff like that, but um, it's, it's really sweet. They're very supportive, all my friends back home in South Africa as well. Um, my family, my teachers especially, they've always just been really accommodating to my music and they've just always been able to like help me out if I'm like willing up with work because of how busy I get. They are very understanding. So honestly, I couldn't ask for any better from the people around me because they support me so much. Talk to me about uh, your plans for next year. I mean, are you absolutely 100% going to pursue a musical career? Uh, and if so, in what direction are you hoping to take it? Well, initially, before this competition, I was actually leaning a lot more to a more academic future, and I was going to study pharmacy. But um, I think I think after this competition, it has shown me that I may have what it takes to, um, you know, have a future in music because it is a very risky future to follow, and there's like one percent of musicians that make it. But I think I think through this competition, I've seen that I I may have what it takes. So now I will be looking into a future in music, hopefully. I would like to study in like Berkeley's music school and get a scholarship to do music for there, but we'll see how things go from there. You, you may have, I'd say you definitely have. Um, talk to me, so you'd like to go and study at some of the top music schools. Um, what, what kind of musician would, I mean, do you have uh, a musician you really look up to or a group you really look up to that you think are just absolutely amazing and you'd like to be like them one day? Well, there are many drummers that I've actually really looked up to. And honestly speaking, I think I've grown the most just by watching other people play instruments. That's why I also like competing in competitions, because when I see other drummers on stage, I think in those that short five minutes or one minute period that they're on stage, I like develop the fastest because I learn a lot. But um, in terms of like drummers and musicians that I follow and look up to and that I aspire to be like, there's obviously um, people like Travis Barker that come to mind and Matt McGuire. Who, honestly speaking, Matt, he's an insanely amazing drummer and all my drumming is basically spaced around him. And then there's also people like my own drum teacher, Mr. Stephen Bosman, and he, he's amazing. I honestly just look up to him so much and he guides me so much to my drumming. I can't even take away any of the work that he's put with me and say it was all me because he's helped me so much. Oh, well, that, that is really lovely to hear. And, and congratulations. What an incredible achievement in the middle of a very busy matric year. Um, we just wish you everything of the best. Uh, and just go for it because you've absolutely got what it takes. Thank you so much for chatting to us this evening. That is Caleb Benyako. So He's a student at St Albans College in Pretoria. He's won big at the 2022 World Championships of Performing Arts that was held recently in Los Angeles.